Hey everybody, it's Daniel here again. Today we're gonna pick up where we left off in the last video. In the last video we created this kind of Facebook news feed style design where it just has random images and you can like, well, well right now they're random images but in like a, a real life app you could pull that data from a server or whatever. But this kind of looks a little bit like Facebook. Um, you have posts here, you just scroll up and down. Um, as you scroll through them, it'll load images. So like if I scroll down low enough, these images haven't loaded yet. So you, you're seeing them come in here now. Uh, there's some stuff you wanna change. First, let's change the floating action button. Um, let's go ahead and change that. I don't like the color. So we'll go into colors and I think that is, yeah. So I don't have the exact color, but it's something blue. So normally you'd get a color from your designers and I don't know what the Facebook blue is. It's like something kind of like that, I think. And there, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just do that for now. This one needs to be a little bit darker. So I'll make that a little bit darker. Um, and then I'll go back to it. And that's actually not what I wanted. What I want is this here and this will load, uh, wrong. anyway. So what well, the point is, um, colors need to be changed. So, oh, and also this is on GitHub. So if you need, wanna check out the code, I'll link to it in the description, it'll be in GitHub. So we can change our colors and whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and run this again and we'll go back to our emulator. This will take a couple of seconds and then it should show up with a new blue. That's definitely not the right blue, I can tell. But I get the right colors from your designer or whatever, but this is, you know, ran loading random images. And we did this using a number of things. We're, first of all, we're using Kotlin for this. So you, you might notice, yeah, we have array lists that still exist. You know, everything you'd expect exists in Kotlin. And it's a little bit different. Like you don't need semicolons at the end of sublines. Or you've probably never seen this before. You can kind of guess what it does. So you might be familiar with I as like a, a counter or a pointer. And then we start at one and go to a hundred random posts. So when I scroll through these posts, these are a hundred posts. So there are a hundred of these. If I scroll to the bottom, there should be a hundred of these. Yeah, so a hundred. So it goes all, all the way up to a hundred and it starts at one. It just as you scroll to load these random images in, um, uh, I'm just past, I'm using, oh, we're using the data class here. So the data class is kind of cool. You'll notice we don't have a bunch of getters and setters. So normally you might be used to, you know, like um, pub or yeah, private string. So you might be used to that also with public um, string get first name return, first name, like you might, you might be used to all that kind of stuff, but believe it or not, in Kotlin, you do not need that. You do not need to do that. All we need to do is make first, just instead of a class, make it a data class. And you can access that just by doing um, post.username uh, or post.text or post.photo. Um, if I can spell that right, photo. So you be, basically these, these values in here, like the username, it's automatically putting the getters and setters in for you. You don't need to write them out exclusively, or you don't need to write them out um, specifically. You can just, like the data class automatically adds that in for you. So that's kind of cool. So we're using Kotlin, the data class. We're using recycler view and, you know, instead of like set linear, set layout manager and set adapter, we just call these properties on it and there's our post adapter. If I go into the post adapter, you can see we have all our Kotlin code here. I'm gonna close that. Um, uh, we, we pass in some stuff and the, this is kind of like your constructor, I guess. So we're passing in our, our posts and if I click on that, it, we can see where it's being used everywhere else. So that's kind of all there is to it. Uh, well, we kind of complicated, but it's relatively simple. It's something that you can copy from GitHub. So what we won't do in this video, but in the next video, say you want to create an ad every, you know, every seven posts, you want seven posts in an ad, or you have different kinds of posts. Like some posts might be video, some posts might be photos, some posts might be just text, some might have an article. So you have these different types. You have an array list, or rather you have a recycler view with a number of different... Uh, a number of different, that's a cool picture, a number of different uh, types. So like, yeah, so like all these are just pictures, but what if you wanna have videos or, you know, what I just mentioned earlier, or you share a New York Times article and you want, uh, and you want, you want it, instead of displaying a picture, you just wanna display the text really big or whatever, or a YouTube video. So we'll get into that hopefully tomorrow, 
But today what I wanted to do is just change the layout a little bit. So here is our row, and I'm just switching between the design and text view with the keyboard, uh, keyboard shortcut. And this is our image there, it's kind of a placeholder image. So what I want to do is I want to make, um, uh, I know what I, I know something we can do. So I know if you go to this, see we have that icon there, the mail icon. Let's change the, let's change that to something else. So if we go into our activity main and I go to the text view, I go to the text view here, you can see we're using uh, this image right here. And that's not exactly what we want. We want like a plus icon or what's going on there? Not sure, huh? Not sure what's going on there. But anyways, so what we want to do is we want to change that icon. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, click on the Drawables folder, right click, go to New, uh, Vector Assets, and let's see if they have a plus. So I'm sure they do. I, don't have, I didn't look it up before. Um, add maybe, yeah, here we go, so add. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So we'll call it add. Um, this is like, this will scale to anything. So this is pretty cool. I can just go finish. And so that puts it in here and now we can, it's a vector, yeah, so I guess it's a vector and it's scales to anything really. I just said that. Okay, so let's go down to here and let's go into the text view and let's change that to add. And it's not. And yeah, what is it called? Add, I don't see, oh. And here we go, okay, cool. So now if we go back to here, you can see, uh, and I think what we can do, we can do tent. Yeah, there we go. So tent changes the color. And if I go ahead and run this and go back to the emulator, that should work. I, I haven't. I didn't test this out before. I'm just kind of just thought of it on the fly. Yeah. So there's our button. And normally it'd be the blue color or whatever color your designer gives to you. So this is kind of cool. You can like. But but let's add some more features. So I was just looking at the. I was just just before this video, I looked at the Facebook ad or the Facebook app, and they have like a share and a comment and a like. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're, I'm gonna shift click. If you hold down the shift button and click on the tab name, you can get rid of it. So I'm shift clicking on that, on that. Um, let's just get rid of, actually, you know what we do? Let's get rid of, let's close other. So I'll close all the other tabs. And I'm gonna hit that button to close everything. Then I'm gonna hit this button to, to highlight just our current one. And let's go to the bottom here. And let's go first, and I'll switch between the text and design um, modes. I'm, I'm pressing uh, shift control right arrow key. So that'll go back and forth between the two different views. So this is XML, this is all your uh, all your code and this is your design view if you want to do it that way. I prefer the uh, I prefer the um, code view. I, I use this for preview but I prefer the code view. That's definitely what I do. So let's um, so let's go down here. So what we want to do is we want to add, so for every single post, we'll add a share, or we'll add a like, comment, and share. So the like's gonna be over there, the comment will be there, and the share will be on the right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so first thing we're gonna do, go into the, uh, go into this, uh, let's see, let's do, um, how should we do that? Let's do, try to think of the best way to do it. Um, first of all, uh, actually, no, we can just use, so we'll, we'll just use, I'm trying to think of what we should use. Let's just do text, okay? Text, text view, wrap, wrap. Uh, this text will be, uh, what, light, uh, not text size, text. We'll call this like. So see where this shows up? That shows up in the top left. We want that to be top to bottom, or yeah, top bot. Uh, I'm going to be text. So what this is saying is, hey, this element right here, this tag right here, make the top of this to the bottom of text. Where's text? Text is up there. So if I go back to design, there we go, it's at the bottom now. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna copy this a couple of times. So this one will be our, this will be our comment, and this one will be our Sure, I think that's how they do it. And they also use images. We won't do that today, but feel free to do that. So now I want this one to be um, right to right parent, and that should put it over to the right. And what we want to do is I want to go out over here and I want to select all of those, 
and do let's do let's do chain horizontal chain and that should you see it's it, it just kind of aligns them up so what I did is I just clicked on the first one then shift click on the last one and actually before I do that I better rename these or it's gonna get messy so this ID will be we'll call this like this one will call ID comment and this one will be uh, ID uh, share Cool. Okay, go back to the design view, select all of those, right click, chain, horizontal chain, boom, there you go. So let's go ahead and save it and run it. And we need we need padding around there. It's not gonna look very good. Um, and I'm not a designer, so hopefully you have your designer work with you. Uh, work, I work with some really good designers. Um, they're they know everything. They're pretty good. The good designer is really good. So we need we need space around there. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you watched the previous couple of videos, you actually know that I created a padding. Um, where is it? Yeah, so general space. I'm just going to use that for now. So padding general space. And that'll put some space around it. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that onto the other two text views. Reformat the code, save it, go to design, Muse, save it. I'm going to run it, go back to the emulator. And you should see, there we go, now we got some space around there. Now it actually doesn't do anything yet, but maybe in a future video I'll work on that. So this, I'm going to go ahead and end this lesson. It's been kind of short, but I, had, I just don't have a lot of time right now. Tomorrow what we'll get into is different types, like I mentioned earlier. Like say, like right now, all of these are images. Like say all your friends ever do is post images. But what if somebody wants to post a picture, uh, a video? or a YouTube video, or a news article? Um, what if you want to put an ad every fifth post? Or what if you want to insert an ad every, you know, just randomly every, you know, five to 10 to 15 posts? All of that can be done with Recycler View. So we'll get into our, um, if I go back to Android Studio, we have our adapter. And in here, there's like a, uh, there's a type. So we can kind of get the type and do, you know, return, zero or return one we won't get into that in this lesson but that's what we'll work on tomorrow so we can have different 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 types of posts so i think i kind of explained that pretty well this is kind of short but hopefully you learned something and i'll see you tomorrow